All right, you can see that the blog is starting to look a little bit better. I changed the background and made it look just a little bit nicer. And one thing you might see is I've added some social media icons here. This is something that you're probably going to want to do. Let's say you or your school have a presence on Twitter. You want to be able to click on that button and go to that account. Or you've got a presence on Facebook. You want to click on that button, go to that account, that kind of thing. How do you do that? You do that with HTML. All right. So let's come back here. What we, what I did is I clicked Add a Gadget and selected the HTML gadget. All right. So you're thinking, Wow, I, I don't know how to code HTML. I don't know how to make that work. Well, guess what? I don't either. It's pretty easy though to figure out. Most of these sites help you out. If you want to put some social media icons on your blog, the first thing you're going to have to do is find some social media icons that you want to use. All right, they're available all over the internet. Um, site I like to use to get them is called Soft Icons. There are literally thousands of them you can download. All right, when you've downloaded the icons, you need to host them somewhere. All right. Now, hosting a file online is not the same thing as sticking it in your Google Drive and making it public. That will not work. Okay. The best place to host your files, it's free and easy, it takes just about one minute to set up an account, is Photo Bucket. So here we are at my Photo Bucket account. And you can see I've got a few libraries here. I've uploaded a few social media icons already. You just click that upload arrow and you um, upload them to your account. So let's say you want to put a social media icon in for your Twitter account. Okay, You hover over the image in your photo bucket library and this gear wheel pops open. And you click get links. When you hit get links, a little window pops open. What we're looking for is the HTML code. So we're going to click there. It flashes yellow and tells us that it copied the code. You don't have to do this next step, but I find it a little bit easier to work with HTML code in um, Notepad before putting it into the gadget. When you copy that code, you're going to have to change one little piece of text. All right, this. Let me show you which one it is. This address right here needs to be the address where you want people to go when they click on the button. All right, so in this case, it's a Twitter button. And when people click on it, we want them to go to the Twitter account. So I'm going to copy that address. And I'm simply going to replace this with that. All right. So now you can just copy the entire thing. Let's add another HTML gadget. There it is, sorry. We're going to paste it in there. I'm going to hit save. All right, I think it was that one. Let's put it down at the bottom for now. All right, need to refresh this page. And there it is. Okay, so when people click on that, it takes them to the Spring Valley Twitter account. If we wanted to add another one, let's say we want to add Facebook, you just get the image. There's the Facebook image. Click the gear wheel. We're going to get a link. I want to get the HTML link. We're going to paste it in a notepad. And we're going to replace this portion of the code with the website where we want people to go whenever they click that button. And that's going to be this. All 
All right, so let's edit this. Just add it right there. Save that. Reload this page. Should have a Facebook icon right next to Twitter. All right, so that's all there is to it. Um, it's a little bit about the HTML gadget and a little bit about social media icons. Recapping. You're going to download some social media icons that you want to use. You can go to any website. I like soft icons. You're going to upload those icons to a hosting site. There are a couple of different ones. I would recommend Photo Bucket. It's free. Once they're hosted, you're going to get a link. All right, you can copy that link. And you're going to use that information in the HTML gadget in your blog. All right, that's it.